Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, D'Angelo Picture Vlogs here, and today we got quite a story on a doctor in Camelton named Dr. Angola. He was on CBC News for apparently being patient zero of the COVID outbreak in Camelton. That's literally what the article says. And he's set to go to court on June 5th. Which is really crazy, man. That doctor, I remember he wasn't he was wasn't a good doctor. He, uh, he was actually my family doctor in Camelton. It's, it's insane. It's pretty friggin' nuts. And you know it's the worst part there. Like it's fifth. There's at least fifteen witnesses. So fifteen of his patients came forward to about him give it, giving them COVID. And they found out, yeah, he did have it, and he spread it to all his patients. He went to work full well knowing that he had COVID. And literally, there, it literally says in the article, they're calling the patient zero of it. Like, what the hell, man? Like, why would that friggin', why would that doctor do that? You're, like, they like it's so stupid man like they could lose you could lose your job for that and you're going to do that he ain't going he's definitely not going to be working as a doctor anymore that's for sure he's probably a rich doctor who's got enough to pay for a right good lawyer that's probably going to get him off i wouldn't doubt it one bit I would not doubt that, but he's definitely not going to be able to work as a doctor anymore, that's for sure. That's pretty much certain. They're they're not going to they're going to not going to let him be a doctor anymore for something like that. That is a severe frigging charge. And he's apparently supposed to go to court on June on June 5th, I'm pretty sure. Like, he, all they could do, literally, was delay the trial. They couldn't, f like, it's, he's going to lose, for sure. Because there's evidence there. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, I remember the last doctor who, uh, who got charged for that in Camelton, uh, he was the one who made up a bunch of false things to the police. When I literally showed up, I had my ear cut, and and uh, I, w I was a little bit drunk, but he says to the police, I'm on a bunch of drugs and everything. He adds stuff to the whole thing, which is insane. He got, uh, he got uh, charged for the COVID thing. Eh, it's funny. What a surprise the doctors in Camelton are responsible for spreading it. Because Camelton friggin' it's got some pretty bad doctors. Like pretty much anyone knows that. It's pretty friggin' crazy though that now he now Doctor Angola. Oh my god. What a friggin' Uh, why would he do that? That is such a stupid thing to do. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, things like that just make you, uh, can't wait for AI to friggin' replace doctors. <laughs> like, they, Elon Musk actually did that with that friggin' device he made. They use a surgical robot for it. Like, God, I, like, that's going to be a huge change for sure. A good change that needs to be happen soon. Because, like, friggin', it's like a, do a robot friggin' surge, robot doing surgery, it won't make mistakes. Friggin' my grandmother actually had something screw screwed up big time with her jaw, but because of a friggin' human error. With a robot, that's pretty much gonna guarantee that not to happen. And pl on top of that, things like this won't be happening. It's friggin' insane. 
I can't believe that actually happened. Like, go check it out for yourself if you don't believe me. I even put, I'm even going to put the article, the picture of the article in the thumbnail. It's pretty, it's, it's really bad. Like, I haven't seen, like, Hamilton is becoming very uh, bad with that. Because, well, not with the COVID itself, it's, it's the doctors there that, it, there you know damn well. Honestly, I kind of expected that to happen. <laughs> Just with the fact, like, it's crazy, not, nowhere else in the Maritimes has it been, like, I don't even think I've seen one doctor on trial in the Maritimes for doing that. It's literally only the doctors in Camelton. It's pretty insane. <laughs> yeah. And it's and so you know what's crazy there? Like you'll always if I make a video about New Brunswick being bad like that, you know it's it's so crazy. Bunch of New Brunswickers comment, No, this is the best province on earth. We don't, we don't, this was before they, they started requiring mass New Brunswick, but before, like, literally New Brunswick was the one place that was not, still not requiring mass. They waited literally pretty much till the end of the, pretty much till the end of the, of the pandemic. And yeah, and then they start requiring it, but you, before New Brunswickers were, uh, friggin', uh, comment and no, New Brunswick has handled this the best way possible, and um, friggin, we're at least this place ain't sheep. Uh, wear a mask, like anti-masker, of course. It seems to be like New Brunswick has a hot, very high population when it comes to anti-maskers in Canada. I don't. I have no idea why New Brunswick is such a friggin' anti-masking province. It's insane. There's so many of them. It's unbelievable that commented, and they're all. And they said they're all from New Brunswick, which, like, what the hell? And and it's funny. He goes, "Oh, and actually, we had less cases than any other province in Canada," which was completely false. I said. Well, uh, what do you got to prove that? They didn't friggin' even, they didn't even give any, so what's your sources? Not, nothing. They just randomly say New Brunswick's got the lowest number. And if you actually look at the friggin' numbers, you'll find out that New Brunswick's actually got a higher number than even Nova Sc Scotia. Which is really insane. Like, really friggin' crazy. And, like, man, friggin', it's just insane that, like, of course, Camelton doctors are gonna be doing that, because they are, that just proves right there Camelton has the worst doctors. Like, God, I haven't seen one doctor in the Maritimes doing that, besides the ones in Camelton. There's at least two so far. But every other place in the Maritimes, I don't, I haven't seen one doctor. Maybe there was. I'd have to look into it more. But as far as I know, most of the doctors I've heard here about doing that is uh, the ones in Camelton. Like, it's just friggin' really bad. Huh? Like, the. The, uh. That that's pretty a big reason too to friggin <laughs> for them to put the uh, AI surgeons and stuff. <laughs> One is my grandmother had a surgery on her jaw screwed up and it's painful for her to eat. It was painful for her to eat for the rest of her life. And on top of that, friggin doctors like this literally causing an outbreak that's insane and the worst part is he, you know what he's trying to pull to try to get out of this 
he's trying to say it, they're only saying that he he did that because of racism. That's what he's trying to pull. Like, oh my god, of course, right? Like, you got 15 patients uh, testifying against you. 15! And you're going to say every single one of them just tes uh, just reported this f because they're racist. Like, oh my god. Like, yeah, that he, he's actually trying to pull that move. That ain't going to work, pal. It ain't going to work in court. You're, you're, he's 100% screwed. He's going to lose his uh, license to practice and everything. He's going to lose it all. Like, he, it's not just even one patient either. 15 of them. 15. You're screwed. You're outnumbered with witnesses. Way outnumbered. Like, but probably the lawyer's more than likely going to get him off with no actual charges and he'll just lose his license or whatever that's that a lot of times that happens if they got a good enough lawyer probably gonna get him away with it but who knows right well we're gonna find out when uh, the trial comes on June 5th and when that day comes I'm gonna let you know the verdict for sure like, apparently he, his lawyer he, is the one who made it del get delayed so long. Like, if it wasn't for him being a doctor and having a very good lawyer, he, he would have been tried a lot sooner than this. Imagine if he tries to uh, friggin' to escape Canada or something, go to another country. It only knows, man. Try to leave Canada before his trial or something. Imagine if that did happen. Oh my god. You look back at this video and know I, I predicted it. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it one bit if he tries to run away from trial. I remember the other doctor. I'm pretty sure was instantly charged. But this one's got the trial delayed. And it's funny. So... Uh, when uh, Faison God 420 made a video about the doctor in Camelton who's literally saying, uh, don't smoke weed, it's bad for you, but this medication, their pills, isn't bad for you. And, and one person comment, no, he's the best doctor in all town. Like, yeah, you... Really, a doctor who says that is the best doctor in town. Yeah, right. Like, come on, man. All this stuff is a big reason why, like, they should have AIs replace doctors, especially. Like, man. Well, at least here. <laughs> anyway. At least in the states, they actually have consequences for screwing up with uh, surgeries and stuff. Canada, they got no consequences for screwing up surgeries. Because the healthcare is free, so you get what the government gives you, basically. And it's awful, man. Like, if they screw up a surgery, they don't have no consequences. Like, that. that's a big reason why you see American doctors... Uh, more better with surgeries and stuff. It's because they friggin have consequences if they screw it up. Like, it's ridiculous. No consequences, so they they're, they're just gonna go free willy nilly and not be c careful doing a surgery, and because there's no consequences, they could kill you on the operating table, and that doctor will face no consequences whatsoever. Because it's Canada. Just completely and utterly insane. And uh, another reason why it would be very good is if the AI replaced doctors, especially in Canada anyway. Because the fact that doctors have no consequences here whatsoever for screwing up. 
and a ro AI can't screw up. It, that's the best thing. A lot of people, for some reason, some all these people who are anti-technology and all that uh, will, of course, say that a robot's more than likely to screw up than a human, but that is completely false. Completely and 100% completely false. Like, I get why people don't want to put AI in every, to take every job, but there's certain jobs that really, like that, you know? Then another thing, if they replace them with law enforcement with AI, like, it would be no more corruption and all these friggin' police sh uh, shootings and all that, you know? That wouldn't be going on. If they had AI controlling it, and they'll literally only shoot if they're programmed to do what they do. They only do what they're programmed to do. Those are the two jobs I think that really need to be replaced with AI big time. Especially surgeons. It would be very good. Like, the self-driving car, it's proven that AI bot, any bot does better. Even with the self-driving car, it's literally lower, it's literally lowering a huge amount of car accidents because there's no human error. It, a robot can't make a mistake. Maybe back in the old days when they didn't have AI and all that, but nowadays, friggin' Nowadays, the AI is friggin' more advanced than a human. But f at one time, robots, like, were less advanced than a human. But now, they literally... It's crazy. Anyway, oh, jeez, I've been rambling for too long. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm gonna end off the video there. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, at John one and D'Angelo... And um, on Twitch, D'Angelo4545 is D'Angelo Picture Vlogs, and I am peacing out.